Hello and welcome to Mego Museum's Mint Off Card. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, and I am happy to say I finally have some samples from Mego's Wave 8, the long-awaited follow-up to Wave 7. Our subject this week are two highly anticipated characters from the world's greatest Mego Monsters line, and we're going to do a contest at the end and give one of these guys away. But before we start, I just wanted to reiterate the mission statement, if you will, of Mint Off Card. It's been a while since I did one of these. The purpose of Mint Off Card is not to give you my opinion. It is to help you form yours. I've been working at the Mego Museum for over 20 years. The Mego format, the 8-inch action figure format, is my favorite. So I am biased towards that. I would like it to shine. And I am quite affable about how many companies are catering to me. The fact that there are three distinct companies catering for my dollar is utopia. It's something I've dreamt of ever since I logged on to the museum in 1997. So absolutely, we're biased towards a scale, and we are excited that we have such incredible choice, and we hope more companies opt in. However, while those companies encourage you to collect them all, we encourage you to buy what you like, and that is what we do here. So let's get on with this. First off, I want to talk a little bit about Wave 8. When Wave 8 was first announced, I'd have to say the fly was the character that I was most looking forward to. It harkens back not to a Mego figure, but actually a Tomland figure, a Mego knockoff, if you will. And I've really been enjoying these kind of generic monsters that they've been doing. It reminds me of the Dime Store monsters that I collect by Lincoln or Azrak Hamway. And the fly was number one for me. Yes, I need to own that. Mr. Hyde, on the other hand, I loved the idea of it. But, you know, the early prototype shots, I was sort of hesitant. Like, where are you going with this, Migo? But prototype shots are always a little problematic, and I don't judge the character based on an early test shot. And as it kind of came together, I was more and more excited about it, to where it is actually my number two favorite character in the Wave 8. I like the way it all shook out, so to speak. Surprisingly, Mr. Hyde was never done in the 1970s as an 8-inch action figure. He even got passed over for Hunchback by the uh, Lincoln International Monsters. So it's it's great to see a kind of 70s-esque looking Mr. Hyde action figure out there on the shelves. The card art looks nice. It is, you know, clearly stock and clip art used in an effective manner. And I'm particularly impressed with the world's greatest Mego Monsters logo. Well done, Mego. Lean into your name. That's a good choice. So, without further ado, let's rip these guys right off their cards and play the silly music montage. <laughs>
there you are, folks. The Fly and Mr. Hyde from Migos Wave 8, the world's greatest Migo monsters. My personal thoughts are I'm quite pleased with this purchase. They have that air of clunk about them that I enjoy, and there's a certain dime store flavor to them that, honestly, I covet and I enjoy, and I don't have action figures of these characters. I do not own a Tomlin Fly, and I do not own any version of Mr. Hyde, so they are very welcome into my menagerie of monsters. I'm quite taken by Mr. Hyde. He looks like a kid's Aurora model. You know, that that's how a kid would paint Mr. Hyde with a green face. And that harkens back to childhood to me, and this is toy collecting, and that's what I think is wonderful. The fly is simplicity laid bare. It looks exactly like a more modern version of the Tomland fly that I mentioned before, and it definitely fits into my collection. These guys are just fine by me. I have to wonder with the announcement that Wave 9 will include the creature from the Black Lagoon, and there's rumors of a Christopher Lee Dracula in that line, if the era of these generic Mego monsters is at an end. I know some folks will be really happy about getting licensed monsters, and I share their joy. I, I love licensed monsters. But there is a part of me that will kind of lament the end of this era if it's true, because I don't know, man. I just love a dime store monster. If you would like to win either a hide or a fly, your choice, all you have to do is hit like on this video and comment below which character appeals to you more. That's it. You don't have to be a subscriber. And on Thursday next week, what I will do is just pick a random number from a generator and find the comment that matches it, and that's it. You get a free carded Mego action figure from me. Look for more Wave 8 from me this week. I'm going to do a few more videos, chat about this, and I may give away a few more figures. Thanks, as always, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's helped you form an opinion on what you're going to buy. Until next time, buy what you like. Take care.